We want to welcome all of His Glory Nation from east to west to north to south as we bring you today's Take 5. Today is Friday, December 27th. Uh, we have some news to go over, um, prayers to share, and um, let's get into today's news. We're going a little bit early today uh, as I have been attacked with some kind of virus and uh, I've had to... Uh, Start a cleanse early. My fasting and cleansing is going to go earlier than I anticipated. I was going to do this in in um, the first of the year, but I got to do it now. So that ties into the first thing that we see is there's a listeria outbreak uh, getting bigger and bigger. Uh, now it's tied to Costco. Uh, it's the boiled eggs, and we it could be it could be more than that. Uh, yesterday, right after our take five, uh, I got. Uh, sick as well and um, my wife and I were talking about it and I think it's either that uh, something triggered when I had listeria or we were going through some of the items that we ate in our house because it, I have the after uh, I have the listeria outbreak like it's gone through me the, the, the blotching of the skin sores in the mouth huge uh, like somebody took a knife and stabbed it right into my back uh, lots of bad stuff so um, we're going to go start a cleanse and try heal as much as we possibly can for the new year. Uh, what a day yesterday was, though, uh, or just extraordinary attacks. And then, you know, my back is having a spasm when all this stuff is going on. Uh, with it being, it feels like it feels like listeria. Like I had the last time I had listeria. Um, so we're sitting in the we were sitting in the living room last night, and all of a sudden, what could possibly go worse? What could possibly go worse? We spilled stuff on the carpet. We had to clean the carpet. I said, well, what else could possibly go on in attacks today? Sure enough, a bat, a bat about this big comes flying through our house because it got so warm. Somehow a bat came in. It's the biggest bat I've ever seen. So here, it, it, it could have been a comedy if we would have had that live on His Glory TV. Here, Macaroni Bear and I are trying to sh chase this, this, this uh, bat out of the house. And it's flying, and his wingspan's about this big. And our dogs are not helping us, and there it goes. <laughs> we couldn't get it out, and I'm getting back spasms as I'm trying to get it to get the to get the darn bat out. Finally, my wife was away, and she came home all cool, calm, and collective, and watched it go right out the right, right out the front door. So, um, <laughs> goodness. So what I've had to do is I've had a double down on the beamer. I've had a triple down on the extreme terpenes uh, i've actually had my wife put some of the extreme terpenes again into the obey therapeutic gel because i couldn't sleep last night is right in the middle of my back where i can't reach it um so not not fun so we're going to start the cleanse early had the tennis racket i had the tennis racket out there trying to get the light the darn thing was so big it was lazy it wouldn't move i couldn't get it to fly because once you get it to fly they can fly out the door so we had the doors open to try to get it out, but it wouldn't fly. So I had to take this pole and get on top of, uh, stand on stuff to try to yank this. Uh, we got 20 foot ceilings to try to get this bat to get out of there. Uh, just absolutely, absolutely, absolutely amazing. Uh, <laughs> giddy up, giddy up. All right, it looked like a, it, it looked like a war zone because we. Uh, we were throwing balls at the at the bat and knocking over lamps and knocking over the Christmas tree. Uh, <laughs> good times, good times. So that's that was my Thursday night. How about your Thursday night? Uh, I got a headache now too from the listeria. I don't know if it's listeria, but it feels like the exact same time I had the listeria. So knocking over the Christmas tree. Uh, <laughs> we have to double down. And there comes the sound out of nowhere. All right, let's get into it. So the listeria uh, systems uh, attacks, attacks from all over. We're hearing it from many people. Well, that, that's why we t titled this, There's Breakthrough. You know when you're under this many attacks that there's, there, there's, a, there's about ready to be breakthrough. And the Lord has given me some prophetic words and he's given other people around me prophetic words that we are on the precipice of a major breakthrough. And that's when Satan is usually the most desperate and that's when he's the most frantic and that's when we get the more, the, the more attacks. And uh, I don't know how many more attacks can possibly happen, but they continue to happen. So we know we're close. Breakthrough is coming. I'm hearing it from many, many people that breakthrough is coming and oh boy, do I need the breakthrough. I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired. 
extreme terpenes. All right, OEN at the, now a lot of this, a lot of this stuff that we mentioned yesterday, um, a lot of the uh, awakening, the great awakening, is starting to happen with with people throughout uh, the, the United States and the world. Uh, things that we talked about a year or two years ago uh, are now becoming mainstream. People are seeing this. Uh, people are being awoke. As I mentioned yesterday, my my oldest son. Um, my oldest son sent me the, the uh, YouTube video of Kevin Spacey, and he knew that was no coincidence. My older son uh, also knows that Epstein is, was not an accident. Epstein didn't kill himself. Um, so you're seeing multiple places where people are starting to wake, and the more truth comes out, it's starting to spill into mainstream. Uh, and we're going to go over those notes. So what, we th what we're talking about a year or two years ago is now becoming truth. And the truth is what sets us free. So people are being awoke at a record, record pace right now. OEN today is reporting Adam Schiff um, hired Obama White House and NSA staffer uh, to uh, the whistleblower, who's tied, who is the whistleblower. Um, and he, the picture that we had, remember we tweeted a picture that we got from somebody? And I said, this could not possibly be uh, this Saramella, uh, Sertamella with Adam Schiff. Come to find out, it actually was. I didn't believe it. I didn't believe it could possibly be real, but it was real. So it is now becoming more and more and more mainstream that this uh, whistleblower is tied to Adam Schiff, tied to uh, George Soros, tied, uh, uh, tied to uh, Obama White House. Remember, he was in the Obama White House. Uh, President Trump tweeted, retweeted his name today. The cat's out of the bag. Uh, poor Adam Schiff. The cat's out of the bag. Speaking of cats out of the bag, uh, Judicial Watch is suing the C underscore A and the Department of Justice to get the whistleblower uh, Sarah Mella's information. Sarah Mella, you are going to be in the spotlight. You didn't want to be. They never thought it would boomerang on them. This is the year of the boomerang. Speaking of the uh, year of the boomerang, Chuck Todd. When I hear the name Chuck Todd, it always reminds me back in the 70s when you heard... Um, when you heard uh, when Saturday Night Live was good, uh, back when it used to be funny with uh, Dan Aykroyd and John Belushi and all them. And remember the one that used to give the Christmas noogies? I think his name was Todd. He would say, oh, Todd, oh, Todd. That's what Chuck Todd reminds me of. Chuck Todd was supposed to be a stream straight shooter right down the middle of the fairway, NBC. Um, I can't remember the name of the NBC program, but um, he's melting down. He's absolutely melting down. Uh, all the mainstream media is starting to melt down. The corruption is coming out. Uh, we saw yesterday, uh, we'll get to those notes. The Washington Examiner confirms that uh, Admiral Rogers sat down with uh, Durham uh, and is the first, uh, the first intelligence officer to bring out information when it comes to the Russia, the Russia hoax and what has been going on. He knows a lot. Uh, if not all, that means uh, uh, what we're talking about is Admiral Rogers. Admiral Rogers, again, is, a, is an absolute hero. He's bringing the hurt, bringing the pain. Just as long as it's not the pain of a knife right in the back with, with spasms. Oh, my goodness. Uh, I had to do the Beamer twice today. Put it right on the spot. It helped. Uh, but I got to continue to do it. Tom Brokaw, as I was talking about earlier, he uh, was out tweeting and got exposed on Twitter because of the uh, the Jewel, uh, Jeffrey Jewell attacks. Uh, that movie came out not too long ago, just recently. Uh, no coincidence with that. Uh, nothing is a coincidence anymore. Uh, you've got to use logic. Uh, good time to talk about extreme terpenes. I don't know what I would do without extreme terpenes. Extreme terpenes, not only taking them helps get the pain away. Yesterday was the first day that I had pain. I had really bad pain. Um, and uh, we don't know why it is, but we're gonna to continue to, to, to get through this. But uh, we doubled down on the, the terpenes, literally, uh, and the pain has gone away. Uh, and my wife put that uh, with a therapeutic gel, uh, the terpenes in the, in, in, on my back. And I feel like the back is about to go spasm any time, but at least I can move. I couldn't move at all last night. It's not funny, especially when bats are chasing you. So get your extreme terpenes, they really work. Uh, for His Glory Family Partners, Christian company, and it does make a difference. I'd hate to be, know where I would be without them. 
All right, more proof that no name, uh, we're gonna call him no name. This again is showing you that all the things that we talked about a year to two years ago are now coming full stream truth. Mainstream media. Uh, Sarah Carter was talking about this last night and more. Um, more proof that no name uh, traitor uh, was behind floating the FBI dossier after Christopher Steele was fired by the F or let go by the FBI. Uh, no name used the dossier uh, and put it through the FBI. He's also got ties to Brennan and getting it to the CIA. This also has a, a, a financial piece to this that goes through No Names Foundation. Remember we told you that No Names Foundation is in some trouble of another sort. It's just a matter of when. There are people all around him breaking. Remember one of, the, one of the people in the Ukraine scandal is tied to No Names uh, Foundation as well. No Names Foundation had to do with the C-H-I-L-D-T-R-A-F-F-I-C in Arizona, voter fraud, Jeff Flake, and more. That thing's gonna blow up. Uh, there is dark coming. The great awakening is happening before our very eyes because now these things are coming out truth. A lot of people would tell you that, you know what, the, 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 John McCain never did that. No name never did any of that stuff. That's just hearsay, that's just conspiracy. He did it, he did it, and he did far worse. Two treasonous act, act, activities that John McCain has done, um, therefore has no name. Uh, Mexican cartel. Can no name be tied to the Mex Mexican cartel? Yes, he can be. Mexican cartel, the president's holding off, labeling them a terrorist so they can work through the president of Mexico. Uh, but the Mexican cartels, MS-13, were used, have been and are still being used by the deep state uh, not only for mafia type hits, but also to use uh, use the trafficking the trafficking of drugs and people uh, through our borders. Uh, they that's why they do not want our borders secured. Again, remember the second the, the last Mexican president, his his daughter and son have ties to Nexum, and uh, we know El Chapo. According to the El Chapo trial, again uh, paid the Mexican. Uh, former president, over $100 million. We're going to see Michael Avenatti in the news again yesterday. All these are tied. Harvey Weinstein, Weinstein coming into the news. He's going on trial here the first of the year. Uh, many, many, many moving parts, and they're all connected. Uh, Epstein met with uh, a scientist at a military base in Israel, Mossad. Remember, Israel's deep state is the last. More on Epstein every day. It's getting more bizarre, more bizarre. Uh, Maxwell, who was the counter, or was, was uh, the person that helped Epstein, uh, F FBI has confirmed that she's under investigation. Remember Harvey Weinstein, that's not over, rut -ruh. As I say this, OEN is now coming deeper and deeper and, and plasting Eric Saramello everywhere and tying it into um, to Schiff and to Judicial Watch, CIA, DOJ. It, it is all coming down like a house of cards. This is the breakthrough. This is the breakthrough. Uh, so Harvey Weinstein, it's not a coincidence. Ruh -ruh. Avenatti, as Humpty Dumpty at Fake News Criminal News Network said, he is the perfect candidate for POTUS of 2020. Remember when Humpty Dumpty said that Michael Avenatti was a fresh air? He'd be a great presidential can. <laughs> Talk about fake news and criminal news network. And yes, the criminal news network is criminal news and they're tied to the money uh, with the FBI payments, Soros payments, um, Fusion GPS payments, and more. It's all coming out. They have the, the bank records. Uh, so Avenatti, it was in the news again about the, the corruption and the blackmailing of Nike. Uh, Nike's not a real good company either. We're going to see more about Nike coming out as well. Avenatti, this, this is not a coincidence that all this stuff is happening at the same time. Uh, like the death and uh, kindness will kill you that Kevin Spacey did in that video. And then 24 hours later, the royal or the ex-royal that was tied to a royal kill, uh, kills himself. That's the fourth one this in 2019. Fourth one. He was sending out a code. All right, Beamer, get your Beamer. Uh, get your Beamer under his Glory Family Partners. Reach out to get a Beamer session today. I had to double down on the Beamer today because uh, I'm a walking train wreck, and uh, but God is gonna heal me. 
I'm just going to have to start my fasting and cleanse today instead of uh, January 1st. All right, get your Beamer under His Glory Family Partners. Click on Beamer and get your Beamer session today. John, uh, Huber, remember Huber in Utah. He's not over. It's not over with Huber. He is the one working on Uranium One. Remember, we read that yesterday. Uranium One is not over. <laughs> Ask Huber. He's working on Uranium One and the Clinton Foundation. It's going to happen. Don't forget Huber. We get all lost in the Durham uh, as I say, OAN is reporting Durham interviews, former NSA director in the DOJ's probe into the origins of the rest of Russia investigation. Uh, that would be Admiral Rogers. Uh, but Huber is bringing the House, a Uranium One. That is with Mueller, that is with Hillary Clinton, that is the Clinton Foundation. Uh, that is uh, William Campbell. Again, the, his uh, attorney is Victoria Tenzing. You don't want to go up against Victoria Tenzing and Joe DeGeneva. Remember Joe DeGeneva said there's four FISA, I think Joe said four FISA judges were compromised. He said that a few months ago. I knew there was two. I knew the names of one. Now we know the names of all four. That's another news breaker today that four FISA judges have been named. Uh, for compromise, even to the point Sarah Carter yesterday, I believe it was on Sean Hannity's show, Sean wasn't on, but Sarah Carter came and, and, and confirmed for the first time from her perspective, uh, for her from her sources, that the FISA court was compromised. They were compromised. That doesn't mean they were hoodwinked. They were compromised. Now we know four of the judges' names. All right, so keep an eye on Huber in Utah. Why do you want to try things in Utah? Because I'd rather have a grand jury in Utah than a grand jury in Washington, D.C. Um, the death penalty in Utah is, is firing squad. Um, there was a viral video that went out two days ago. Uh, that went viral on Twitter, went viral everywhere. It was this man who was wearing a suit, and then he had a skirt on, and he was wearing pantyhose, and then he was wearing uh, high heels. And every, he was at an airport in Florida. And this went viral everywhere. And um, come to find out, he runs a podcast called Soul Antichrist. You can't make that stuff up. It all makes sense, doesn't it? Soul Antichrist. Oh, my goodness. What's going on with our world? We need more Jesus. More Jesus. True Jesus. The Word of God. Not man's watered down version. John Solomon says, keep an eye on McCabe, McCabe and Comey closely. Uh, testimony, they're digging into the testimonies uh, deeply of what they've said under oath and more. Durham has them both in the crosshairs. Uh, FISA orders FBI to re-verify all warrants that are involved Kleinsmith, but not McCabe, Comey, Comey, Yates, or Rosenstein, according to the OIG report. Why? Durham will get to the bottom of that. Now, now it is official that four FISA judges' names have been exposed, um, confirming for the first time that four FISA judges have been compromised. So again, put this in perspective of how far we've come from two years ago. Now we know the dossier was fake. We know it was paid for by Hillary Clinton and the DNC, run through Fusion GPS, we now know also that the FISA warrants were, uh, were, were uh, false, the fake. They, they didn't verify them. Uh, they knew it wasn't verified. The OIG report told us that. And we now know that four FISA judges have been com compromised. One that we reported about a year ago um, that has ties to Peter Strzok uh, was met six times with President Obama in the White House logs. It is happening. It is happening. That's why Satan's attacking so hard. You can feel it coming. So he's attacking any way you possibly can through a food system, headaches, stabbing in the back. It's just like Satan. He won't do it to your face. He does it behind your back. He stabs you in the back. Um, many, many of my sources have been telling me today that military traffic is off the chart. Military aircraft off the chart. I have not seen anything personally here. Uh, usually I see helicopters go around when there's movement with military. It's been quiet here, but I'm told through um, 
through sources that military tracking and traffic is off the charts right now. They're maneuvering to be in position. Remember the National Guard was put into place. Uh, Marines are locked and loaded in place. Grab your popcorn is what I'm told. Something big is up. Um, another Ridgecraft earthquake in California hit, hit this morning. It was a smaller one. I think it was 3.7, but that is like uh, the 10th or more air, or, uh, earthquake that's hit. The Madrid fault line also has uh, uh, strong activity of a potential earthquake. This is Matthew 24, right before our very eyes. Uh, wars, rumors of wars, earthquakes, pestilence, <laughs> listeria, all this stuff is happening right before our very eyes. Birth pains, things are speeding up. Things are speeding up in the spiritual realm and they're speeding up in the natural realm as well. So we got to keep an eye. Trust the word of God, not man. Yesterday we, we were talking about some, some, some uh, Christians, Christian organizations that were tied to source groups. They may or may not know. We don't want to throw the baby out with the bathwater. You got to give everyone the opportunity. Uh, we, you just can't. You just can't throw everybody in there. Uh, nor would we ever do that. People ask me all the time: Is this person okay or is that person okay? We don't know. We don't. We, we, we don't. We, we don't follow them. I can honestly tell you. I was telling somebody on the phone the other day. There's only two people that I would have come on His Glory TV and talk about the Bible. Two people. That's it. Out of all the people that I trust, there's two people. Uh, obviously, I would trust Chuck Missler if he was still alive. But I trust Perry Stone and Rabbi. That's the only two because we have to be very sure of what people say uh, in their in their in their in their uh, their faith system through the, their heart in the Bible. You don't know, and you don't have time to go and research that. So we mentioned Beth Moore yesterday. I don't know if Beth Moore is good, bad, or indifferent. We just made a comment that Beth Moore was in this war with John MacArthur, uh, and Beth Moore did this tweet that was kind of don't know where she was going with it. Um, and we just mentioned that some of the um, some of the teaching of uh, where they all come from uh, is not biblical. So uh, they may have changed. Uh, who knows? Uh, there is one that I have done research on. And that is John MacArthur. Um, we pray that he's changing. We pray that he's changing because his uh, his belief system on the gifts of the Spirit are are, are not right. Um, many reports on. Um, Assets, hard assets, gold and cash disappearing all over the world. There's like three reports now that have been mainstream. Uh, the U.S. Treasury Secretary had to uh, talk about that on Lou Dobbs yesterday, too. He made it sound like, well, it's just people are investing in the American dollar because it's the, it's the best way to invest. Uh, no, it's deeper than that. He knows it's deeper than that. Gold and hard assets and cash are disappearing from the central bank. This is part of the process. Gold is, is, is going to be king again. Um, many, 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 this again is another mainstream that is starting to spread more and more and more. Uh, remember a couple weeks ago, it, as of a couple weeks ago, Hunter Biden, it was, they were attacking Hunter Biden. Hunter Biden was innocent. First of all, we, nobody's seen Hunter Biden since his ABC News uh, interview. And now multiple sources are, are claiming that Hunter Biden is under serious investigations, plural, including several countries say he's under investigations, plural. Now there's a report, two reports yesterday that Joe Biden and Obama are under investigation, tying back to the Ukrainian files. Uh, remember, Rudy has it all. Rudy came out and tweeted again under the Ukraine files that the Bidens re received $17.5 million in racketeering, is what he said. Wow. It's heating up. It's heating up. Speaking of heating up, you got to look at Israel, the center of all Bible prophecy towards the end days and, and history. Benjamin Netanyahu today won a, an important vote uh, that he will stay on as the prime minister until the elections in March. That is a big win for uh, Benjamin Netanyahu, the prime minister. Uh, the elections in, in Israel will be in March. Israel has been under major attack. As I say that, there they are right there uh, attacking or, um, and, and during the festival of Hanukkah. Uh, Israel has been attacked majorly the last 72 hours. Gaza and also many Iranian proxies. Remember, that's Ezekiel 38 and 39. 
uh, a, a, and uh, the Psalm 83 war. Uh, Iran is trying to reestablish the Persian Empire. Um, one of the IDF generals says a direct conflict with, is, or with uh, Iran is imminent and unavoidable. So uh, there was a earthquake uh, today that hit one of the nuclear reactors in Iran. Uh, I don't remember who prophesied that. There was a prophecy that I, from somebody I knew. Um, I think I got that confirmed that the Lord was going to do a, a, have an earthquake at an Iranian um, nuclear site. It looks like he's just fulfilled that. Um, so hang on. Speaking of the end days, sheep and, and, and wolves clothing. Uh, we need to know the Bible. The Bible is the only thing that can set us free. Uh, the Pope unveils, unveils globalist new world religion at summit with UN leaders. You can't make this stuff up. This is perfect. This is this is Babylon, Babylon in the book of uh, the book of Revelation, Babylon in the book of Isaiah, Babylon in Jeremiah fifty one. There will be a modern day Babylon in the end days. There is a spiritual Babylon, which many would say is the woman who rode the beast, which would be tied to the, uh, the, the Vatican. Uh, and this is not me saying this, is, this is coming from uh, Catholic scholars who have, who have brought this uh, belief. Uh, there's actually a, a Catholic um, a prophet many years ago that uh, prophesied the last, the last of the popes, right down to perfect detail. But anyway, there is a spiritual Babylon, which they believe to be the Vatican, and a literal Babylon, which is in Babylon. And remember we said the United Nations is going to have scandals, plural. And there are two bills for the United Nations to leave the United States and the United States to defund the United Nations. As Chuck Missler, I believe, first reported back in 2011, 2012, maybe, uh, a while ago. I can't remember when Chuck first told me about this. But there's a building in Babylon that the United Nations that they believe would go and take over. So you could see both of these being fulfilled by this article. Again, the Pope unveils globalist new world religion at summit with UN leaders. Babylon. Babylon has fallen. She will fall. Stephen Halper, again, in the news, goes all the way back to um, a mafia backed C underscore A bank uh, illegally funding millions to the Iran Contras after helper ran uh, spy operations against Jimmy Carter, uh, Jimmy Carter's White House. See, they don't care what side they are. I mean, some, most people get confused with this or they're, they're, they're new to the dance. They think it's Republican versus Democrat. It's never been Republican versus Democrat. It's not about, it's not about politics. It's about power, power. They get along behind the scenes as if they're united because they're united. It's a game for them out. It's Republican and Democrat. And they change sides just to get their purpose and their plan. Uh, ask No Name and others who have been compromised. It's not just the Democrats. It is Republicans as well. And Stephen Helper has a lot of explaining to do. Heaven help Helper. Uh, I want in the news again. We remember we kept saying for the months and months and months, keep an eye on I want and his blackmail and what he had on Congress is starting to pour out with a investigative reporter. Uh, his his I think it was his mother in law and his wife are talking. Uh, he's blackmailed and stealing the data from Congress and was blackmailing them. Uh, he, his wife. Uh, threatened to go to the FBI with this information, and Iwan threatened to kill her if he did. This was being done. This was being reported by a, an investigative reporter, a journalist who has been talking to both sides of the family and digging in. Iwan is not over, and it will be huge. Be one of the biggest scandals. Diane Feinstein. Diane Feinstein. Diane Feinstein. Remember Diane Feinstein. Wicked. She is one of the heads of the snake. Um, wicked. When it all comes out, it is beyond belief. POTUS not, um, President Trump met with Navy SEALs in 2017 to find out the truth about Afghanistan. He said he wanted to meet with the Navy SEALs directly, enlisted only, didn't want to hear generals, he didn't want to hear admirals, 
He wanted to talk to the people who are fighting on the ground to find out what is really going on. And the SEALs told him what was up. And the president listened. That is a leader. The leader, a leader doesn't listen to the, to the people around him, what they're trying to tell him for political reasons. A leader will go to the front lines and ask the people on the, on, on the front lines what is really going on. What is really going on? Why are we here? What's working? What's not working? The scandal of Afghanistan and more is going to be coming out very soon. Remember, it was true pundit about a year and a half ago. Uh, CBS News had this before the 2012 election. And yes, the 2012 election was rigged as well. It was rigged as well. It should have been president somebody else. And you wonder why they don't fight for it. Because they're compromised. Because they were hammered, literally, by Project Hammer. So um, back to Afghanistan. This has not come out yet. Nobody's listening. This will start coming out in mainstream uh, talking uh, points from multiple sources real soon. And it was True Pundit that reported this, I think it was a year and a half ago. And CBS 60 Minutes had this report that would have affected the 2012, well, that might have affected the 2012 election. Uh, he lost by, I'm told, six to eight points, but yet he was still president. Um, but Project Looking Glass came into play. That's why they didn't make the play with Project Z at that particular time. Um, back to Afghanistan, it was True Pundit that reported that both President Obama and P George W. Bush knew that Osama bin Laden was never in Afghanistan. It was a secret deal that they put, they put him in Iran. So we sent our troops to Afghanistan for a lie. A lie. Evil will be gone. Dianne Feinstein, oh my gosh, she is the epitome of evil. Oh, she is wicked. She is wicked. The more I turn up on her, the more I just, my stomach turns up as well. Um, the truth is the only thing that's going to set us free, and the truth is starting to set us free. Uh, lots of GoFundMe going on. Yes, the GoFundMe, as you some may know, the GoFundMe is a way that they, they, they drive, uh, they drive um, money for themselves. Um, Pentagon knew Afghanistan wasn't winnable. Pentagon knew Afghanistan was for Poppy. Pentagon knew Afghanistan was about the Benjamins. Pentagon and everybody else knew that Osama bin Laden was never there. This is far worse than you can ever imagine. It's not whether you go to a war whether it's winnable or not. You're going to war for a lie. You're going to war for 19 years for money, for contractors to make money, to sell opioids, or yeah, opioids from the poppy seeds. That's how a certain president got his nickname. It wasn't because he was a grandfather. It was Poppy. Poppy. Oh, my goodness. We pray. We pray. We pray. We're at a turning point. We are at, uh, actually, it's not a turning point. It's further than a turning point. We've come so far. It's a breakthrough point. It is now, these things that we've been talking for a year, two years uh, ago, are now becoming truth and are coming out in the mainstream. People are waking up to the truth. And we gotta continue to have them wake up every single day. It needs to be awaking, 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 awaking. And people are starting to feel it, see it, believe it, and things are changing. We are at our breakthrough. It's like that the old saying, I think it was, uh, I think it was Jim Rohn. Jim Rohn used to be a motivational speaker that was a mentor to uh, Tony Robbins and I used to listen to him all the time. And it was like when you had one of those old-fashioned pumps. Remember those old-fashioned pumps that you used to have on the farm? You'd pump those things so hard, so fast, you didn't know how long it was going to take you for that old, patch, that, that old pump to start pumping the water. But once that water started to flow, it was nice and easy, steady. It just came out just beautiful and cold. It tastes so good when you're young. Tastes great. That's what, Je that's what Jesus and God are telling us right now. Don't stop pumping. Your breakthrough, your water is about ready to flow. And when it flows, it's just a nice, easy, easy pump. Because the Lord is pumping then. We've got to trust in Him. Trust in Him for all things. Keep pumping. Keep pumping. Because you don't know which pump is going to make the breakthrough. And we're on the breakthrough because Satan is frantic. You can tell it by all the things that are going on in the world. He is frantic. But light wins. Light wins. The light of Christ wins. Keep pumping. Keep pumping. Keep pumping. We pray for each and every one of you. 
we pray uh, for uh, th that you may be a light in these end days to the pre or to the uh, to, to to a friend, a family, or even a stranger. We pray for our president. We pray for the White Hats. We pray for the military. We pray for the all this, the uh, people uh, locked and loaded. We pray for our law enforcement, and we pray for our country. As many areas in the country are coming to some serious uh, civil war type things, like that's going on in Virginia. Uh, God wins. Light wins. And January is going to be the start of the Roaring Twenties. Remember, Roaring Twenties can mean two different things. Roaring Twenties can mean things are going to roar for the Lord. And you hear the roar of the, of the, um, the, roar of, uh, the, the Lion of Judah. But also, roaring is, is, a, is a time that, of evil, too. So we're going to have two different, two different things going on in 2020. Light and also exposure. So there's going to be a lot of roaring, and we just got to keep our head on straight and be focused. Focus on the offensive. Focus straight ahead. Focus as Peter focused on Christ and could walk on water. When Peter stopped focusing on Christ, he sunk. We will sink without Christ. He is the way, the truth, and the life. Um, he is. He is. He is it. Somebody's asking about Q and A. We're not going to do Q and A today. We will do Q&A on the Wildcat version, uh, Wildcard version. Wildcat, too, since I saw a cat back there. My wife still thinks it's a, it's a domestic cat. <laughs> I do need the Beamer. I need to go. I'm going to, after that's done, I'm going to go on my third Beamer session of the day. Um, my wife went to get me some stuff, too. So we've, I've started the, the fast. I've started the, the, uh, the, the cleanse. Uh, I was going to do it earlier, earlier, earlier. Um, okay, so uh, we pray for all. Uh, this is breakthrough time. Keep pumping, keep pumping, and keep pumping. So back to the Q&A. We will do the Q&A on the wildcard version on Sunday, Sunday. Uh, and if something comes up later on today, we'll play it by ear. Um, God's got it. God's got it. God's got it. Trust him. He is the only peace and shalom in this world of hate. But in this world of hate, we can make a difference with light and love, light and love. Thank you for your prayer. Thank you for your prayers. Lord will heal. He will heal. Shalom.